Welcome to Nugget Shooter Journals. Prospecting today, looking for new areas. I have two machines with me, the STC 2300 and a Gold Monster. And we're in a new area. I don't know if there's gold here or not, but we're gonna find out today. And uh, glad to have you along with. And without further ado, here we go. Alrighty, we're gonna start out today using the uh, SDC 2300 by Mind Lab. It's a uh, pulse induction machine that incorporates uh, one of Mind Lab's newer technologies, multi period fast. And uh, it's really good for small nuggets of depth and uh, big nuggets of depth. Um, it's not going to go as deep as some of the uh, pulse induction machines with bigger coils, but for the type of hunting I'm doing today, it's just perfect, I think. Um, a lot of this is going to be shallow. And I might switch to the Gold Monster later. We'll see how this works out. Um, we're going to hunt up this little wash right here. It looks to me like it's been worked before, which is always a good sign. So here we go. I'll get with you when I get a target. Well, I'm just a little ways from the buggy. I got a target right here. First target. I've uh, covered, I don't know, 20 feet of wash out here in a single target. But I got one here. And there are tailings along here, so this has been worked. Uh-oh. It's really loud up under there. And it's likely going to be, yep, trash. Look at that. Now, there's something you don't expect to find in a wash. <laughs> yep, and a beaver tail. How about that? Huh. Well, her target's trash is what it is, I guess, right? Got to dig some trash. Well, I dug that beaver tail pull tab right over there. I got another target right next to it, almost right here. This one's down voids here. Maybe two of them drank pop here, right? Okay. Uh-oh. Might have been a hot rock. No. No. Nope. Okay. Maybe a small target and I buried it a little bit. So what we do in a case like that, it might be on my pick too already, but we're going to move a little bit of this dirt here. And see if you can hear it again. All right, it's still there. Another rock here. Nope. Now pulse induction doesn't hear as many rocks as the BLF does. The old timers have definitely been in here, and maybe some younger timers, seeing as how that beaver tail is from the 70s, I guess. Uh-oh. Well, if it's gone, it's probably on my pick. But I don't hear it. Nope. Nope, it's gone. Let's see what we got here. Magnet catches pretty much most of the iron that I hear. I imagine it's stuck in that hairy black sand there. Look at all that black sand. That's something. But there it is right there, probably that little piece of wire. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's trash in here, isn't there?
Well, another target. Here you are. And right, right about there in front of that rock, where it is. Now I use a, a bigger digging tool when I'm using pulse induction, simply because I gotta dig deeper holes. And with a gold monster, I, I try to scape off very little at a time so I don't miss the target or lose it. Some of them are so small that I use a pick a little bit more when I'm digging with this machine. Okay, now we're to scoop digging. Not very deep. We got it. All right. It'd be nice if it was gold, wouldn't it? Okay, it's in my fat little hand. Yeah, piece of trash, piece of iron. That's all right. You figure you dig enough of them, you're gonna get over a piece of gold eventually, right? We got a target right down here. I don't know if you can hear that. I didn't know if it was a signal at first. At first I thought it was just hot bedrock. But the bedrock here is not that hot. There's something down in there. Yes there is, I think. And we're gonna investigate. This bedrock's cracked up pretty good. This is rhyolite right here. And uh, there might be something down in that little crack. I think there is. I'm gonna dig around the cracks a little bit here. Sounds pretty darn good. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Whoops. You wanna hear that? Okay, right, we're gonna dig this mud out of here. Maybe this other piece. Maybe something very small and I moved it. Huh. All right, we're going to sweep this stuff out. Let's see if I got it somehow buried it deeper. It's right on bedrock right here. that target. Still trying to tell me there's something in here. Right. I'm trying not to bust out too many big chunks of bedrock because if it's real small it's going to fall right down in there and I'll be chasing it for the next hour. What we got going on here? Should have brought the gold monster up here. I could have pinpointed it better. But I 
<laughs> we caught it, whatever it is. Okay. Nice little sound. Oh no. I think. Nope, it's not that. Might be a piece of lead. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. It doesn't look like gold to me. Yeah. Piece of lead down in that crack. Darn it. That one gave me hope. It's, uh, it's lead, I think. This area is just a trip. Um, as rugged as it is and shallow as the bedrock is, there's still life in here <laughs> that you wouldn't, might not expect to see. But this time of year, we get some really pretty flowers. Look here. Yeah, that's a little Arizona poppy right there. And then right up above it here, going right out of the bedrock, is this gnarly old ironwood tree. And that gnarly looking stuff, the dead stuff, is what people like to carve in it. It's so hard. What an amazing area. And then you got through here, you got some crown beard up there. It's called, I believe, in some brittle bush. And uh, we're going to continue hunting up here. No gold yet, but I'm on a target right here. Pretty shallow, pretty shallow. So I'm just gonna use a scoop and dig this up. Bear with me, I'm gonna put this thing down. Hmm. Pretty soft dirt right here. It's wet still from all the rain. I think that's it right there, maybe. Nope. Right inside of the hole. Okay, let's see what's making all that racket. Yeah, another piece of tin of a can. Something. Yeah, another piece of tin. Cleaning up the desert. Now we barely got a target in here. I moved this rock out of the way. It's got a little bit of a tar uh, sound to it too, because it's solid. Uh, appears to be magnetite and uh, something else in here. Barely hear it, but I'm going to dig it. And it's probably going to be this rock right here. Maybe not though. Yeah, that's what it is. Another piece of magnetite. Recheck the hole. And it's gone. So, piece of magnetite. I always check them though. You never know. I just had to walk about a quarter mile back, get my camera. It fell out of the bag somehow. Um, I'm going over land now. Check this out. This is a bit of quartz right in the schist. Some nice iron in there and uh, yep. Good indicators, aren't they? I gotta find my way back down to that wash and then uh, back to the buggy to have a peanut butter jelly sandwich probably. And I think I'm probably gonna call it a day. 
And just because I didn't find gold doesn't mean it's not a success because I found some new land and uh, I hunted it. And though I didn't find anything, I did learn some things. And I also learned I want to come back here. Maybe with a gold monster, I'm not sure yet. But a pretty cool spot. And I think there's gold here. It's just not where I was. Or maybe there was and I missed it. Yeah, who knows? Like I said, my friends, it gets me out in nature. And I get to see a lot of things other people don't get to see. And that in itself is worth a million bucks of this old fool. I enjoy getting out and uh, seeing the critters and the, the plants, because right now it's so green. I mean, we got flowers and stuff everywhere. Check this out. They're starting to dry up a little bit, but it's supposed to rain by midweek, so they'll probably get green again and bloom some more. Like I said, I'm heading back and I'm gonna call it a day. And uh, we'll give it another try another day out here. And not sure what I'm doing tomorrow yet. I might try to get out. And uh, I hope you learn from these. I tried to show you some stuff here and there. And look here. This is hand stacking. You can see it all along here. Yeah, dry wash piles, stuff they threw out of the wash. So they worked this pretty hard. They just didn't leave me much. So anyway, if you like these videos and uh, you're learning from them and you want to learn a little bit more or just come along for the fun, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And uh, check out my Patreon page. We do some private outings over there and some cool stuff too. So anyway, like a shooter out.